Clark, now ABC News consultant and former White House terrorism, anti-terrorism chief. Richard, the president called them Islamic fascists, but Brian pointed out that the alleged mastermind of all this has links to al-Qaeda. So is this al-Qaeda? Charlie, it's al-Qaeda or a variation of al-Qaeda. And what today's plot reminds us is that five years after 9-11, the United States has not eliminated al-Qaeda. We eliminated uh, Nazi Germany and Imperial Japan in under four years, but five years into this war against al-Qaeda, they're out there still plotting major attacks against the United States. And Richard, as far as this plot is concerned, have the British totally foiled it? Or if you were still in that counterterrorism job at the White House, would you still be worried tonight? I think if I were still in that job, Charlie, my concern would be that we found only part of the plan. Al-Qaeda likes to do two and three attacks at the same time. Is there a plan for the United States? Is there a plan for the Pacific? Until the British tell us they're confident they got the whole thing, I would be worried. So is it just these five who might still be at large, or do you think something even wider could have been planned? Well, it's entirely possible something wider was planned. In December 1999, they planned an attack around the millennium in the United States and in Jordan and in Yemen. So they're capable of planning attacks around the world simultaneously. And we don't know yet how big this was. All right, Richard Clark, thanks very much.